welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, it's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. No theme, so we're, we're just, we're winging it random style. We have three very cool products on this edition of Friday's Finds. We're gonna start off with lighting up the job site, or better yet, lighting up the campsite with the portable work light. Warning, children under six years old should not use this product without adult supervision. I don't I guess six year olds are not allowed to play with light. I don't know. So let's take a look at what's in this box. Instruction manual. Half a page. Bubble wrap. So you can make some popping noise. Oh, now that's kind of cool. It's got a stand. Magnets. A USB and a USB-C on the back so you can charge your phone with it. Now let's see if it's on, if it's charged. <laughs> it's charged. There's one. Not quite so dark. Okay. Okay. There we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five modes. So five modes. One, two, three, four, five most handy you can actually put that on a tripod you gotta hold your mouth just right Okay, so maybe that's why it requires. That was loud. So maybe that's why it requires adult supervision because you got to get those little clips in there. That's a, that's a bit of a challenge. There we go. <laughs> now we need something metal to stick it to. And we need a, a dark place. So let's go try sticking it to the fence. <laughs> Look at you there. Now that's right handy. I can't let Yappy see that one. I'll never get to play with it again. It'll go in the purse. All right, so we'll let, we're gonna wait till dark. I'm gonna go put a charge on this and then we'll actually see how, how bright it is. It doesn't really say on here how many lumens we're working with. So we'll we'll move on to the next and we'll we'll come to back to that. The next little item, and I say little item, but it can be a big item. This past week I was living in a tent out on my land. I got no showed by the, the guy that was supposed to show up to move some dirt. But while I was waiting on him, I was working on the computer sitting in the cab of my truck. Now my truck does not have a built-in plug for the the laptop so I'm having to run that off of another battery bank and I was having to charge the battery bank to you had a lot of cords what I need what I needed and I didn't have because it had just arrived it actually arrived the day after I left was the little 
amp peak, 120 watt, no, I'm sorry, 150 watt inverter. Check this little bad boy out. Nice and compact, so it'll fit in the glove box. It's 150 peak watts. There's two USB ports and the 110 port on off switch and a cooling fan on the back. And then we have an instruction manual. Always good to have an instruction manual. So the next thing is for us to head out to the truck. Of course, I gotta go clean it up. I don't want you to see how messy my truck is. I'll never hear the end of that if Yappy sees the messy truck on YouTube. So I gotta go clean that up. And then we'll plug in this and the, so I'll find something to power with that. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next one. And that requires more space so let's go over here and we're going to take a look at this <laughs> big old box this is the rollick space dog playpen it's 40 inch it's a 40 inch tall Th this is billed as an rv dog pen rv playpen for dogs it weighs about 72 pounds. So let's take a look at the Rollick Space. I think we just open it like right here. We do have to lay it down. Instructions, handy dandy gloves. So that's, that is one panel. And we have a gate. requires two hands to open the gate and the latches are, are awesome but it, it takes two hands to get that open I don't know maybe we can drill a string or something on that well I'll figure it out and Held together over here we go with it holds it together and holds it up. 
I guess I gotta do some assembly. Some, some assembly, some assembly required. Let's go to work. And I think we're gonna, we're gonna do it right here. So you guys hang out right here. Decent size. What we need is a dog. We need a dog that likes to chase the ball. But first, I got to pick up all my my trash. We'll be back. <laughs> all right, you ready? You ready? Go. Bring right here. Hurry, 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 hurry. Bring me the ball. Bring me the ball. All right. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? <coughs> Jump high! <coughs> Ziva! Ziva's in white one. She's not happy. She's not happy that we're isolated. Go! <coughs> So, you like? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, thumbs up. I like this. Yes. You ready? Go! Uh oh! Release. Puppy approved. And she's not happy at all. She can't get in. But he's happy that she's not interfering with his game. And mama really liked it. She wasn't too happy about me putting her on camera with no makeup. But she really likes this. All right. We're going to go around to the... <laughs> I got to play ball. We'll be back. So I'm in the truck. We got the little inverter, the 150. I really like the size. Of, look how small that is. And what a, a heck of a price on it, too. All right. We're plugged in. Turn on. So we're turned on. With a green light. I have my 60 watt 
work light here. And, and now we have, we have lots of light coming through the inverter. Whoa! Now the, man, look at, no issues there. Little bit of a delay. When I when I saw this, I couldn't believe. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't believe the value. Okay, now we need to go play with a light in the dark. Here we are in the garage. This is the darkest place where I can show you this really cool work light. So I've got it stuck to the freezer. This is handy dandy. Yeah, and as soon as Yappy saw it, she, she, <laughs> she's like, oh, I gotta have that. Handy dandy. I think that's a heck of a light right there. All right, let's go back outside. Let's talk about a dog pin. Oh, what a fun addition of Friday's finds. We have, we've looked at the big dog pin. I mean, let's, we need to finish talking about the big dog pin. I think this is a great value. I, I don't, I don't really think it's a, so if you're full-timing in, in an RV, space is always at a premium. Even if you're not full-timing, space is always at a premium. Weight is always a huge factor. This is a fantastic portable dog pen. I don't know that you're going to want to uh, carry this around unless you're really set up in a location for an extended period of time this is going to take up a lot of space and weight that may be better used for something else yappy loves it she said this oh we're, we're taking that with us everywhere we go and my reply was where are we going to put it we're already maxed out so we've got to lose something to be able to take that with us this does get us excited about our place our our land so while we're getting situated out there and living in the rv we will need a place for the dogs to have some freedom and this will definitely give us that opportunity i think it's a good value compared to other things other products on the market it is it's portable but it's it's not really conveniently portable but it's a good dog pen I'll leave it at that. The inverter, I think that's a fantastic value. For, yeah, you need to look at that. If, if you need to have power in your car to operate your computer or whatever, uh, that's, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. Uh, I highly recommend that. And the work light, oh, yeah, that made my wife happy. Uh, yep, he's happy, so everybody's happy. So that actually brings us to the end of this brief edition of Friday's Finds. If you found something of value here, if you enjoyed it, please click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. That really helps. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have already subscribed, thank you so much for following along. That's why I get to do what I do. Thank you for that. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?